further requests. You know, Papa's got a brand new bag. I believe I can accommodate that request. You see anything you like? Got anything red? Nope. Maroon? Nope. Crimson? Just what's I, pal. Fine. Just give me that blue one with the G on it. Ah, a G G la G. Excellent choice. Your wife will be over the moon. Don't have a wife. Your girlfriend will not say no the night. Don't have a girlfriend. That'll be 30 quid. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Actually, this handbag is about to be used in a covert police operation. Let me introduce myself. D.I. Hector, Clappers Root Police. Ah, on the house. Have a great day, officer. That's one for the video library. Oh wow, it's got enough crap in here to open a stall at the market. Christ, he's finished the bottle. This, this junk could survive a bomb blast. Probably is. strong stuff. Even the vapour took the air off me knuckles. Christ, if the world goes to pot, he's got enough survival gear in here to last the fallout. Christ, if the... If he starts shooting, I'll make... Word of advice, don't stand too close to Blind Alley. Hey, the VCR, haven't seen one of those since Meeks had air. Murder most moist in heaven. Nah, a fair follow up, but not as good as the original. Hey, Rich, something's wrong with the TV. There's no porn on it. Sweet the mother of Debbie. Says 12 different alluring and provocative phrases. Three all new, never before seen holes. Now 25% tighter. If lodged in any orifice, Consult physician immediately. Harmful if swallowed. Not to be used by children under three. Avoid direct contact with skin. Says 12 different... Now's me ch... Oh, hell, I don't know the code. He's fixed the VCR. Close one. <gasps> You're telling me. Free, all new, never before. I don't even know what half this stuff does, or where it goes. Nice rack. Nice rack. I don't even...
Word of advice. You've been a regular at Exotico for some time now, haven't you? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> the loyalty card was my idea. <laughs> You know how to get past the security door behind the counter. A uh, matter of fact, I know the code. You what? Give it to me. Well, well, Blind Alley got something you need, so what can you do for Blind Alley? <sighs> I suppose you've got something in mind already. Blind Alley needs a favour. I'm bursting for a little companionship. Okay, but I'll draw the line at mouth kissing. Uh, not you! Hell, Hector, even I have limits! Thank God. Look, just get me something from inside. Something tangible. Tangible? More like one of those orange smelly soaps. Oh, come on, Hector. Get me something a man like me can really appreciate, if you know what I mean. Oh, the things I do in the name of justice. I'd like to purchase the menage à moi, please. The menage à moi? Are you sure you can handle a lady like this, Aisha Bomb? Don't insult me. Do you understand the what you in the presence of you? Smooth, a flowery skin, accurate movements, self-inflighting, self-cleaning, pair where you want it, none where you don't. This ain't no baby's toy hot shot. This is the real thing. How much would you say something like this is worth? I was hoping to get it on credit. Ha! Why don't I put your name down for a free copy of Underpants Digest? Never mind. I'm willing to offer you all the petty cash I possess for that doll. <laughs> I shouldn't charge you that much just to look at her. Oh, come on. Think of the pick and mix you could buy with this. You know how to push my buttons, Hector. But no. She's worth more to me than curly worries. Well, those things together, not bloody lightly. Stay for a stroll through a dodgy park. That box looks familiar. There's a waste of something going down in the cottage park public toilets. <laughs> There's a waste. I know where you live. I'll be back for you.
Oh, yes, this is going to be a wonderful afternoon. <laughs> yeah, for one of you. Yeah, well, why does it smell like the gents' toilets? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Just kidding about the doll. Oh well, back to plan A then, I guess. <laughs> He used to say, come inside on the doormat, but the cleaning bills were horrendous. I just had to get him first. I recently purchased this sex doll, but it didn't completely satisfy me. Let's take a look. Run the Jeremy's moustache. I can see why. I demand a full refund. Oh, absolutely. I can't give you cash, but I can give you a store credit. Well, how about an exchange? No problem. Are you alright with that display model there? Well, that'll be sufficient, thank you. Is it safe to leave there until I can arrange transport? I'll do my best to fend off the depraved, deviant porn rats. You know how to make a customer feel special. That leads... Hey, Ali, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Many happy returns. Do with her what you will. Just don't do it anywhere near me. Oh, Hector. 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 And don't do it while saying my name. Oh, yes. <laughs> <coughs> the door code. Come closer. I'm sure if I want to stand that close to you. It's amazing. I have the same combination on my luggage. Thank you, Hector. You've made an old man very happy. And you have made a middle-aged man very nauseous. Hey, Rich, something's wrong with the TV. There's no porn on it. Sweet the mother of Debbie. Now, I'll just have to type in Blind Alley's code. Oh, I should have been able to guess that. Uh-oh. I wonder if these are the set off the alarm type or the cut you into tiny pieces type. I can't. Lasers. Oh, I don't really want to turn. It goes nothing. Now, yeah, that was a puzzle. No access to basement. Well, that's obvious. I can see why it's boarded off. Those stairs have more holes than my underpants. More boxes of meticulously categorised porn. More bo- More boxes of- Filthy Rich's office. There's got to be something incriminating I can take this place down with. Hmm, man's desk sometimes holds secrets not even he knows about. Nope. 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 Bollocks. Oh, 
our research turned up nothing. Not even a stash of brandy. Thin stack of papers stashed under his phallic carpet. Could it be something illegal? Like ration. Just something not illegal. Oh, let's keep going. Hmm. A suspicious looking ledger in beneath the chaise lounge. Could it be a second set of books containing a list of payoffs to city officials? Just a bird watcher's guy propping up the chaise lounge. Better keep looking. Hmm? An envelope discreetly placed beneath the leg of his desk. Could it be a blackmail payment from a local politician photographed in a compromising situation? Oh, bollocks. It's a birthday card from his aunt. Oh, there's got to be something else here. Reminds me of my college dorm room. Nice pair. Both matching posters, I mean. X marks the spot. I can't tear the X off with me bare hands. I need a power tool or something. Here's to our health. <laughs> so, uh, tell me about yourself. <laughs> I can see the park from here. Those damn kids are still raving on breath mints. Well, there's boxes of stuff down there, so I must be able to get down somehow. What, burn away the wood so I can fall down an unsafe flight of stairs? There must be another way down. It's a hand scanner to open the door. Hmm. Well, it looks like some sort of high tech digital hand scanner. No, just one of those handicapped door switches. That way leads. What's even scarier, guaranteed that'll be gone by tomorrow. Could be an exact match for the town clock, except for the pink, of course. Now nah, you're just being. Well, this will shut that clocksmith up. Let's hmm. open up the delivery hatch to the basement. Came up short in Rich's office, but maybe his basement is a different story. Gotta be something down here that'll give Rich a shakedown. And what is that awful rank? I don't know how Rich stays afloat with his money-back guarantee policy. What in the name of... He really will allow anything to be returned. A heavy voltage cable. Maybe his industrial washer is in for repairs. There's power down here. Dodgy wiring. This socket's hooked up to the mains. I need something to pack. That'll pack one. 
Listen, my producer, good. Listen, my producer, good job when I'm ready for it. These supports are pretty bug ridden. I'm surprised Filthy Rich hasn't fallen through the floor before now. Ah, that stuff will burn all. Okay, Clotsmith, let's see if your stomach is stronger than these building supports. Rich better watch where he steps, uh, drives. I'll watch that health and safety video. Ready for a shakedown? Brings a tear to my eye. Must be the asbestos. If anyone asks, you didn't see anything. Those guys really love their porn. It's like I've just lost a huge piece of my childhood. If anyone asks, in the arse getting it up that ladder. Would have been a bigger pain in the ass for me. True enough. X looks good up there. Big garish perhaps. the way to the hospital. Have I helped you? Hey, every little helps. I'm a long way from done. Are you saying you're willing to do more, noble citizen? Depends. What's the minimum I can contribute to consider you helped? Surprisingly little, considering the state of the town, I mean. How much? See, my citywide renovation plan outlays an entire budget structure. Oh, let's see, taking into account property values, printing costs, a small PR team, the tanker of ammonia. How much? 25,000. You what? Pounds? It's really very little when you consider all the facts. Where the bleeding hell am I supposed to pull that kind of cash? 
I've got another donation tin if you like. Do you expect to raise 25k off the pocket lint of this town full of grunts? You know what they say, from tiny acorns do mighty oak trees grow. Oh, and from tiny malformed babies do epic tossers like you grow. I'll be back when I find some funding or a fairy flaming godmother. I look forward to it. I've gone light-headed. Looks like some hostages are gonna die today. It's a waste. No, all you gotta do is bring the cash or bring the thing. Do we have a deal? Oh, I gotta go. I think George Michael just walked in. Details in the first stall. Talk soon. I've had enough toy. Hurry it up. I've got one hanging here. Just a minute. I've had enough. It's not much good. A red airbag matches my bloodstained shoes. That way to fresh air. I'll leave you to it. I hope everything comes out okay. Hey! Hmm. Guess he finally passed that stone. That turd burglar's gone. Let's see what he wrote in the stall. Here I sit, broken-hearted. No, no, that can't be it. Hang on, this looks promising. Bring 25k in small bills to the bush out front of the public toilets. For identification, I'll be sporting a distinctive hairstyle and holding a red designer handbag. You want the thing? Bring the cash. Don't be late. Well, that's very descriptive and convenient. Sounds like a good opportunity to make a bit of cash. I just need uh, a distinctive hairstyle and a red handbag. Well, a week. Lucky me. Maybe if I'd been more thorough in the office, I might have found this up there, instead of having to rely on this poor last-minute patch of happenstance. Rubbish it. All those things together. My own mother wouldn't recognise me. I can't come.
this bit of work. Oh, I feel a bit stupid. Distinctive hairstyle, red designer round bag, it's in. He better have brought the thing. If he's jerking us around, you know what to do. <sighs> I brought the cash, you bring the thing. Of course I brought the thing. Good, show me the thing. Let me just grab the thing for you. You telling me the thing's in there? Sure it's in here, look. That ain't the thing, that's one of them little packets of silica gel. Oh, it may look like a packet of silica gel, but actually it's the thing. That ain't the thing. Kimbo, waste this guy and take your time. Hold it there, Kimbo. All right, I'm ready to deal. Listen, Featherhead, you either have the thing or you don't. I'm a very busy man. You tosspot, you don't think I'm stupid enough to bring the thing with me, do you? What are you saying? Where's the thing? Only an idiot would have actually brought the thing. So you're saying you don't have the thing? Think about it, what security do I have? How do I know that once I hand over the thing, your monkey's not going to tear me arms off and pick his fleas with them? Well, I... That's right, I don't. So here's how it's going to play out. You hand over the cash, then once I know I'm safe, I'll call you with the location of the thing. We clear? That sounds fair to me. Kimbo? I'll be expecting your phone call. You've got one hour. Cross my heart. That's just about the dumbest. Ooh, spoke too soon. Hey, Featherhead, what are you trying to pull? Huh? You don't even have my number. Oh, right. It's 0289042 If I don't answer right away, it means I'm in the car. Might get me by text. Cheerio. believe that word. Out there, somewhere, there's a guy walking round with a thing. Boy, he's gonna be pissed. Who cares about Clapper's reek? I don't. There you go, 25,000 pounds. No, no, say it isn't true. Oh, believe me, I wish it wasn't. My dream has arrived. I never thought this day would come. The day Hector just hands over a briefcase of cash to a complete bull sniffer, me neither. Ah, oh, Hector, imagine what this town could be if there were more people like you living in it. Yeah, imagine. Hey, uh, not to push it, but... Uh, have you got plans for the rest of that change jar? Oh. Hector, you're a true saint. I really wish people would stop saying that. In all the years I've been handing out these badges, finally I know the answer. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? You do, my friend. You do. Enough. I've got things to do. Operation Clapper's Cleanup is about to begin. <laughs> Go. What's the count up to now? 37. Alright, Crunch State, I've done everything on your list. If you let them go now, I can still make the love special at Broken Arms. Huh? You think that's all? Town's fixed now, is it? You do a little spring cleaning and we all just go home. Is that it? Oh, here we go. Oh. No, no, no! 
I have much bigger plans for this town. You were so proficient at completing my first gift of demands, I have a whole set of new ones yes. for you. Now write this down. Number four, clean the dead sheet out of the public fountain. Number five, have the flower beds in the center of town spread out and mix the clean of the Ten Commandments. Number six. Food for the hostages has arrived. What toppings? Ah, uh, mushroom, sweet corn, pepperoni. I'd like to offer myself in trade for the hostages. I'm testing the pizza as I approach the building slowly and deliberately. Did you place the puck in the pizza? I feel like I'm about to store in a really bad porno. Well, well, look at you, all proud of yourself. You got to the end of my game. Well, bravo. Get yourself over to www.theeptophiles.com forward slash aren't I a clever clogs to get your free gift. It's not a very good free gift, as you probably gathered by the word free. Then head down the pub for a pint. You'll have to pay for the pint yourself, though. Tosser. <laughs>